Hey, Breaking Brown fam. Hey, Your Black World family. And the last time um, that I was here, uh, we were discussing Jada Pinkett Smith, and I was telling you why I didn't think that black people should get behind Jada Pinkett Smith and and you know and her boycott of the Oscars. How this isn't something that we should be rallying behind or or kind of wasting our time with. And you know, part of what I pointed to during that conversation is that black people have a lot of other more important things to worry about. Right? We have you know in, in Flint, Michigan, uh, they've been poisoned with lead water, neurotoxins, right? And and you know, not a lot has been done about that. The the, the mayor of that city still doesn't have access or control over the, the city that she was elected to govern. So when you look at everything that's happening in the black community, what I was saying to Jada Pinkett Smith was, listen, we don't necessarily have time for what you've got going on. We don't have time for the arts because black people right now are kind of struggling for survival. But here's what I will say. I want to leave this on a positive note. Here's what I will say. There are things that you can do where we would make time right? The problem is, is that this is an exchange. This is an exchange. What needs to happen for, for, for black poor people and black middle class people and black working class people to, to get into the fight um, with, with, with black millionaires and be on the same page and behave like we're on the same page, what needs to happen is that there needs to be an exchange, Jada Pinkett Smith and other black Hollywood actors, if I have anything to do with it, what I would like to see are gone of the days where black people just show up because rich black people say that they are somehow um, discriminated against. That's, that's not an exchange. That's us, that's us leveraging our political capital on behalf of you when we have other more important things going on. But, but, Jada Pinkett Smith and other black actors in Hollywood, other millionaires, if you want to, if you want us to be, if you want us to fight on your behalf, if you want us to hit the streets and protest the Oscars and do all of that stuff, then what you have to do, you have to be there for us in a meaningful way. Now, I'm not talking about just starting a charity or making some small investments. You have to be able to basically show us a sheet. The, 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 these are, these are, these are how many, these are how many black people I put through school. These are how many this is this is what the scholarship looks like. It's, it's, it's stuff with millions of dollars from black actors all across Hollywood to put black kids through school. This this th this right here, since black people with businesses don't get money from Silicon Valley, I need you all to come together and put together a venture capital fund where black people, regular people like, you know, business people get money from 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 black from black millionaires. We're talking venture capital here because black black business people don't have access to it. All right. Now, I'm not saying that that black business is the be all and end all because, you know, I don't believe black business is a is a is a is can 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 be the source for uplift in the black community. But what I'm saying is that we have to do something. And if if, if the people in Hollywood have finally kind of come around and realize that, you know what, I'm black. And because I'm black, I'm not getting the things that white actors are getting. And if you want to leverage the political capital of working class black people on your behalf to fight for you, then what we need from you is something. We need an exchange. We need a balance sheet of here's where you've been here for me, blah, 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 blah. And I'm not just talking about the individual. Are you, are you putting together productions for people other than your kids? You know, we have, we have young black actors coming up. We have people graduating from high school, graduating from film school. Are you just hooking up your children? Is that what's happening here? Because that that that's not going to leverage us to to be on your behalf, to fight for you. If you fight for us, like you have we have we have numbers. Working class black people, poor black people, we have numbers. You have money. So if you want to leverage our numbers, then we need money. We need resources. We need access to capital. But I think gone are the days where you can just come in and say, you know what? I need black people to support me just because I'm black. And that's how it's going to go. No, this isn't about an exchange. Now, let me tell you, this can be a very good moment for the black community. When black millionaires realize that I am involved in an exchange, in a mutually beneficial exchange with working class and poor black people. We could do some really good things through that. 
you know, I, nobody's saying that it's going to end racism or that it's going to flip anything. I don't think that's necessarily possible, but there are advantages to that. There are advantages to, 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 to a relationship where, where, where we give you and you give us. People tend to believe because we're black, we don't need an exchange. Well, you just should be with me because I'm black. No, 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 no. That's not the way it works. Or at least that's not the way it should work. We should be there for each other. Right? So I think... In terms of Jada Pinkett Smith, that would be the olive branch that I'd like to extend. If you want to see black, if you want us to make time, because right there we got a lot of stuff going on. We don't have a lot of time. But if you want us to make time for you in terms of our numbers, you and other people in Hollywood, I'm not talking about just you. You all need to come together and figure out how you're going to do this and how you're going to make this happen. And we'll come together and figure out how we're going to distribute those funds and how we're going to make it happen. But this needs to be a joint effort. But we're not just coming out anymore just because you're black. And we're not going to extend ourselves just because you're black. This is going to be something that benefits all black people. You win. Working class black people win. We all win. It's a mutually beneficial arrangement. That's what I want to see. So if, you, if, if you're down with that, then by all means, get at me. But if you just want me to show up and show out and have nothing to show for it at the end of the day, no, I'm not with that anymore.